Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Tech Medic. Thank you for joining me today and sharing your time. In today's video, we got a new update for Nightingale and this improved farming. There's a bunch of other patch notes that came out, but it was kind of janky getting back on the servers at the time. Uh, one item that I needed, which is critical, is a watering can. So you can go ahead and pick this up in the Ascended Forest Realm uh, Antiquarian and you can go ahead and hit up the Essence Trader to find this item and craft it. It's pretty easy. You do not need to make it epic or anything like that. This will do because it does the same thing as the sky does, uh, which goes ahead and waters your crops. But sometimes you might run into this issue where the crop appears to be watered, but you're going to have to go ahead and put down just a little bit. I don't think they have this system completely ironed out yet. But just to go ahead and showcase that these are in a good state, you will see this icon right here, and that will indicate that plant is watered and you're ready to go. So there's a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. First off is you need the planter box schematic which is found in the survival tab and once you go ahead and place this down or you place some of these pots inside of your house you can go ahead and grow flowers and decorate to your heart's content. One thing that you've got to note is that the augmentations for these planter boxes are going to be found here by holding E and going to inspect. We can see that we're getting a buff from being exposed in the soggy rain as well as farm and well lit. This farm buff is because we're playing the farm card, which can be found over here. And it's gonna go ahead and increase our growing speed as well as give us times two seeds for everything that we create. The augmentations that are also implemented here are from a simple lamp as well as the mortar itself. And that'll go ahead and increase uh, to some degree, but. Things like the plow or the wheelbarrow or the water barrel don't really do anything. The water barrel is good there because you're going to need um, to fill your water pail from time to time. And as we can see, everything's popping up at the moment. So one thing with these mortars is that you can place them outside by the wall and they will be considered sheltered, but they're going to get the grit debuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. As you can see, refinement time is increased by 15 seconds, even though it's considered sheltered. It has the farm buff as well as well lit and cultivated flora. So all this is going to reduce the crafting time for seeds. But with that grit debuff there, it's going to supersede over all of those um, buffs and it's going to make uh, seed crafting time increase immensely. So we can go ahead and hit craft, go down to seed. And let's do some tomato seeds and you can see that this is taking quite a while to go ahead and complete and we're not going to watch that but if you go ahead and tear down or build a shelter next to your farm plot and you put these uh, planting places all the way around like let's just say that we put them all the way around our cairn right here then we can go ahead and expose the wall and we can go ahead and go in drop some tomato seeds and we can see that this is getting done quite fast. So this is good for those hefty stacks of like wheat that you want to go ahead and turn into seeds and it'll go ahead and receive buffs itself. So let's go ahead and inspect. We don't, we no longer have the grit buff. We do have the farm well lit and cultivated floor that adds to that. So this is basically how you're going to set up your farm inside of Nightingale at the moment. One thing to note, when you do create seeds over here at the bench, the requirement is two of any plant that you put inside of it, and it's going to spit out six seeds. And you can get a varying variety of fruits, vegetables, flowers, wheat, all that stuff between one and four from each plot. I'm just going to pick all our coffee seeds that we can get that done and that's that and these plants take a very short time to go ahead and grow so again it's going to be about three minutes per plant and of course you're going to have to do some watering but you're going to be able to go ahead and make good things like the bread recipe which is a really nice buff to have i think it increases your hp by like 500 or so and it takes uh, flax, refined flour, wheat, refined flour, and oat, refined flour. So anyway, 
The water bucket is uh, another recipe that you can go ahead and pick up and utilize, but this is going to be your general setup. And if you made it this far in the video, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we will see you all in the next one. I hope this helps. Have a good day.